Hey guys, Joe Wanted coming in. This is the rules for the 1212 Land Battle Tournament that is being hosted by Nappy on the PA Events Discord. These are the rules for all of the battles for this tournament. So now you guys can see what's going on. And uh, hopefully you can read all of these. I will try and give you as much time. Feel free to pause and take a look and see what all the rules are so you are up to date as to what's going on in this tournament. Hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, Joe Wanna coming in here. We're gonna do continue on here with the Medieval Kingdoms 1212 land battle tourney that's being hosted by Nappy in the PA Events Discord. We have two ar four armies here on the battlefield today. We will go over the left side armies here first. First army on the battlefield today we have the Sardom of Bulgaria. Sardom of Bulgaria is being commanded by Radu47368. Let's get into his army real quick. Right on his front line here, he's got four units of the Despot Spearmen. Pretty cool looking units there. It's pretty 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 long line actually. He meets up with his ally there. That's pretty that's actually a really good sign. Uh, right behind them, he's got three units of his militia archers, which guess what tier are they tier two tier two your archers and tier two spearmen actually really good let's get back to his king here he's got the sars bodyguard and there he is himself right there with his little mace cool looking shield still can't get over the visuals of this game or this mod i should say getting over here onto his right flank though he's got some swordsmen here a couple units of macemen actually sorry i saw the sword icon two units of macemen tier three solid units should be uh, he's got a couple of units of the Lens Spesat. It's a heavy shock cavalry, tier three, triple gold chevrons there. And in the center, he's got two units of his militia cavalry. Behind them, he's got two units of his high guardsmen, tier two polearm infantry. Getting to his ally here, we have the Vo Void Ship of Valachia. Valachia, not sure. Uh, this is being commanded by Christie. Christie is bringing six units of the Mosni, Mos, Mosnenai, Mosnenai, I'm trying to say these, these names right guys, uh, looks like a sword unit, but they have a bunch of axes in their hands, oh no, nope, these guys got maces, ooh, those are nasty looking maces, so he's got six units of those across his front line here, on the end he's got a unit of his Vlock Guardsmen, Heavy polearm infantry there, tier 3. Right behind them, he's got three units of his Mosnenai archers. I'm sorry, four units of his Mosnenai archers right there. Tier 2 light bow infantry. Behind them, he's got his cavalry forces. Let's see, he's got a unit of the Kurteni. High light melee cavalry. The Boieri. Boieri? Boieri, maybe? Heavy shock, tier 3. And another unit of the... Kurtene light melee and his general here is the Voivode's bodyguards. Let's see if we can find him. Uh, I guess that's his general right there. Usually the general is next to the next to the uh, flag bearer, but usually oh no, it must be him, yeah, because usually the general is carrying a sword. So there's his general right there. Hopping on to the other side of the battlefield here, we have the. Duchy of Lesser Poland, which is honestly one of my favorite factions here in 1212. Right on the front line here, he's got four units of his dismounted junior knights. Right behind them, he's got four units of his dis, uh, communal Volgears. So let's get an eye on the dismounted junior knights here real quick. Pretty cool looking guys, tier three, medium melee infantry. Right behind them, some medium polearm infantry there with the communal Volgears. Behind them, he's got units of his sergeant's crossbows. Let's see, he's got two units of his sergeant's crossbows there. Behind them, a lot of cavalry. Oh, the great banner of Krakow. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Fantastic heavy shock cavalry unit. Right next to them, a German men-at-arms heavy shock cavalry. And behind them, he's got two units of his mounted sergeants. And over here, he's got two units of his heavy axemen medium shock infantry and behind them the king's bodyguard so there is the king of lesser poland there he is right there in all his glory 
and his ally here is being is the Kingdom of Hungary, sorry about that, is being commanded by Whistlet. Whistlet is bringing with him a ton of swords. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units of swordsmen. Looks like some of them are tier two, some of them are tier three. Let's see if we can see the difference. There's a tier two, there's a tier three unit of them. Another tier three, tier two. So they're eh, a bit of a difference. Shields look different a little bit. Definitely a little bit heavier armored on some of them. So definitely, uh, definitely cool looking units there. And then getting over onto his flank, all four of his units of spear sergeants here um, in front of his cavalry. He's got two units of the Sorrentes. I believe they're called Sorrentes. Yeah, Ser Servientes. There we go, Servientes and two units of the Vlastella. And his king right here is the Mas Matthias Kir Kirillai. Kirillai. Let's see if we can find the general himself. Like I saw, there he is. He's got a mace in his hand. Pretty cool looking units again. So, uh, this is a little bit shorter of a battle compared to the other ones. We have uh, 10 minutes and 58 seconds of a battle here. So, <clears throat> let's see what goes on here. Maybe this is still a little bit during the setup phase. Get a little fast forward. Okay, so we got some of the cavalry now moving up. Looks like he's moving up a little bit more of his front line here. King is starting to send himself over onto the inside of the cavalry forces here for Hungary. didn't think it was this okay so Hungary is now starting to move up his forces very slow walk actually he's moving up his entire force Wow Hungary is going to be the first army moving forward his ally is now moving up Duchy of Lesser Poland is starting to move up the Vovoid ship is starting to move up as well and we just need there we go so everybody is starting to move closer to each other now, so I will put it back on to regular speed, normal speed. Cavalry forces starting to make their way up. Spearmen all making sure that they stay in front of their cavalry. Two units of macemen are actually getting really far away from the rest of the army. This could not, this could be a really bad thing. Oh wait, no, he's going to move up the rest of his guys. Okay, I thought he was going to send these guys in by themselves at first. Let's get over onto the other side. Oh wait, looks like we might have some infantry collision here soon. Very soon, looks like this battle is about to kick off. We do have a lot of archer fire coming in from the uh, Sars... The uh, Sardom of Bulgaria, sorry about that. A lot of archer fire now actually coming in from the Vovoid ship as well. Trying to get some good kills in onto the dismounted Junior Knights. Looks like our infantry collision is about to take place. Lots of the Axe Warriors charging in onto these dismounted Junior Knights. Follow on down the line. Do we have infantry collision here? Center lines are about to collide. Actually, they're just kind of walking into each other here. Not really very much of a charge. Do have one unit of spear over here, though, and it is not currently in combat. This unit should charge in maybe uh, get a flank charge in onto those swordsmen there but continuing on down the line here lots of infantry pretty much the entire infantry lines from both armies at least their mainline infantry are engaged in combat some of the Valistella getting a good charge in or we have a lot of cavalry play going on on this side as well lots and lots and lots of cavalry We have the uh, King of Hungary now starting to make his way around. Looks like he's going to... Ooh, is he going to get around the side here? We do have the uh, Sarge bodyguard making his way over here as well. So the King is just going to charge in onto the side of this militia cavalry unit. Oh, wow. We already have units breaking. Wow. So we the Void ship has a Vlad Guardsman that has already broken here against two units of the Swordsmen. Swordsman now getting a rear charge in onto this Monseni unit and that unit is wavering wow 
that is happening. These units are breaking very quickly. Very, very, very quickly. More archer fire coming in from the Void ship here. The Monse archers. Mosneni. Mosneni. There we go. Mosneni archers getting some good shots in. Don't know what this guy is doing. Probably should have. Well, these are halberds actually. So maybe he shouldn't have charged in. Oh no. Is this unit wide open for a side charge? No, actually, cavalry is going to be making their way around. We do have two units of the Beleri over here. Oh no, he did get a rear charge. Oh, out of position unit of Halberts here. Suffering a huge rear charge there. I do see a king. Oh, we did have a little bit of a king combat going on here. General combat. The king's bodyguard and the Voivod's bodyguards looked like they were mixing it up a little bit. But now the Voivod's bodyguards getting a little bit too close. We do have some melee infantry here just waiting. Hopefully this general will pull back out of combat. Seems that the Voivodes are losing a lot of their units. A lot of their units are breaking. Let's get back down onto the other side here. Poland and the Tsar of Bulgaria. General combat here. Let's see if we can find the generals. Put this on slow motion real quick. Um, wonder if the generals are near each other. Okay, here's one of the generals there. Yeah, that's the Tsar. There is the Tsar. More wavering going on. Let's see if I can find the other. The uh, Hungry King. Hungarian King, I should say. Let's see if we can find him real quick. Uh, is that him? No, that's not him. Hmm. Can't exactly find him at this second. Okay. Well, I don't want to waste too much time over here. Like I said, it is a pretty short battle. Let's swing on back up to the other side here. See what we got going on. A lot of archer fire still coming in. More of the Voivod's uh, units are starting to break. This is not good to see if you guys are rooting for the Voivod's. Oh no, huge rear charge again. Oh god, sent those halberds flying flying through the air. Another big charge. Oh, German men-at-arms. Where? What is their target going to be? Oh, no. This is probably going to hurt. I'm definitely going to put this on slow motion because I want to see this humongous charge in onto these tasty-looking archers here. Oh, God. Arrows still coming flying in, but you can see these guys getting knocked back five, ten feet through the air, getting crushed and trampled onto the ground. Get back onto normal speed. Another unit mounted sergeant coming in, hitting these archers so, so destructively, just absolutely slaughtering these archers. No units around to give them any sort. Well, there's no. That's that's on the other team. There, there is no units around. To give these archers any sort of hand. Do have a unit of most any coming back though. Looks like they're going to try and charge in, maybe get some kills in onto the archers, onto the uh, cavalry here. But I don't know how much longer these archers are going to hold on. This is not looking good for the Vovoid ship, and his general now is starting to waver. What is he down to? Eleven men here, surrounded by a unit of the junior dismounted knights. The general is actually running. General is general unit here for Voidship is fleeing off of the battlefield, probably very close to completely breaking. Oh, there he goes. General has now broken on that end of the line. A lot more combat going on on this side, though. Sar's bodyguard, I mean the uh, Sardom of Bulgaria, is actually doing pretty good here against Hungary for the most part. But, oh no, general getting into some of the archers. Unit of the Velesteta over here again getting into some more of the militia archers. Once cavalry in 1212, pretty much in every game, but once 1212 cavalry gets in your back lines. Eee. Lots and lots and lots of death are going to take place. Lots of death is going to take place. Cavalry here, what is this? This is Velestella going to do pull out, going to come in and give the general here a hand on this unit of militia archers. Nope. Swung back around, getting a rear, another charge. Can't really tell where they're going. Not that it matters. There were spearmen coming on over. Three units of spearmen now surrounding this unit of basement. 
That is definitely not in the Maceman's uh, favor at all. Allies are running. So Voivodeship is pretty much all but gone. We have a whole bunch. Everything over here is now wavering for the Sardim of Bulgaria as well. He does have a unit of cavalry back there on 12 left, though. This is definitely looking to be a crushing defeat. Absolutely crushing defeat. Wow. Hundred and fourteen kills for those dismounted knights. One thirty-three. Two hundred and seventy-nine for this unit of swordsmen here for Hungary. Two seventeen for this unit of the dismounted junior knights for Poland. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's this is over. It started off looking really good on this side for the Sodom of Bulgaria. Really, really did look promising on this end. But the uh, the Axemen, unfortunately for the Volvode ship, did not seem to be anywhere near the caliber, or at least the stats of being able to hold up against these Polish troops. Yeah. Did the Banner of Krakow survive? There is the Banner of Krakow. There he is. Let's see. Is the Banner still up? There it is. The banner is still up. Decisive defeat. Wow. Decisive defeat. All right, let's go over some of the uh, unit kills here. I'm going to just go quickly over these and then get into the second battle like I did for that first set of battles. Uh, Voivode ship has general had 54 kills. One of his units of cavalry is Bo Bo Boerii had 70. Swordsman really didn't perform very well. Did have a unit of his guardsmen here with 91, though. And the archers, unfortunately, not a whole lot of kills. Getting into the Sardom of Bulgaria here. Let's see. Uh, a couple of units of his cavalry, 74, 68. Actually, a unit of his macemen, 131 kills for those guys. Pretty good. Guardsmen, 83. Mm, archers, again, not really performing very well. This unit got up to 77, but once the uh, Hungarian cavalry got into the backfield, it was pretty much all she wrote. Getting on to the other side here, though, Kingdom of Hungary, his general, 154 kills. Unit of Spears, 106. Cavalry here, 246, 268. Amazing. And three of his units of his late swordsmen here, 134, 146, 286. All the rest of them did pretty good. Pretty good. Frozen BG, Frozen Man uh, BG here with the lesser Poland. Let's see, his axemen did pretty good, 112, 126. Cavalry again, 247. One of them with only 69. A great banner of cacao, only 69 kills. Uh, unit of his mounted sergeants here with 90. Dismounted Junior Knights, 217, 124, 227. Wow. Fantastic. All right, guys, I will be right back here with the second battle. So we'll hold on and wait. All right, guys, coming in with the second battle here between these two teams, we have the uh, Duchy, uh, Grand Duchy of Serbia and the Kingdom of Croatia taking on the Duchy of Lithu Lithuania. And again, the Kingdom of Hungary is on the battlefield. I do not believe... Actually, no. Kingdom of Hungary did change up his army just a little bit. He's got a bunch more of the militia halberdiers with him. Um, Kingdom of Hungary is being commanded by Frozen Man BG. So basically, the only thing that he's really changed is the six units of the halberdiers here. So, very, very, very impressive unit here. Light pole arm, but they should probably do a decent amount of damage. He still pretty much has the same amount of cavalry. And so let's move on over to the Duchy, Grand Duchy of Lithuania, who's being commanded by Wiselet. Wiselet is bringing with him seven units of the Ducal Infantry, Sword Infantry here. He's got a couple of the late and I believe a few high period ones as well, four and four of uh, each of those. Oops, sorry about that. He's also bringing with him two units of the Ducal Spearmen here. He's got three units of the Lithuanian skirmishers in his rear line, and then some cavalry over here. He's got the Grand Duke's bodyguard, so let's see if we can get in there. He is. Grand Duke right there. Pretty good. And then he's got some of his cavalry over here. Two units of the Noble Cavalry, and two units of the Smolensk Boyars here. And we'll just get a couple eyes on some of these two units there. Flowing around onto the other side here, we do have the Kingdom of Croatia. Croatia is being commanded by Radu47368. He is bringing with him four units of the Pavi Spearmen here on his front line. 
He's also got a bunch of some of his archers up on the front here. I think he has two, yeah, two units of regular archers here, high period archers. So the four units of spears. He's actually got a lot smaller of an army than the one that's going to be facing across from him. So I don't know how well that's going to work out. He does have two units of swordsmen. He's got some cavalry out here on the flanks. He's got a uh, unit of the famularies. And then two units of the Vitavo Vitazovi. Behind them, two units of the Croatian communal nobles. And then over here, he's got his Ban of Croatia, which is right there. That, I believe, is his king. And then his ally over here, like I said back at the beginning, is the Grand Duchy of Serbia. He is bringing with him eight units of the Vles... Vlestet... Vles... <laughs> Vlestetlici? Vles... Vles I don't know how to say it. Swords. He's bringing eight units of swordsmen here. Right behind them, he's got a couple units of his bow frontiersmen. Over here, he's got a unit of his Volicini... Volnici axemen here. It's a shock unit. Then swinging on down to the other end of his army here, he's got another unit of the axemen there. His king's bodyguard right here. So the king of Serbia is on the battlefield. Actually, he's got a pretty badass looking helmet. I must say so. Uh, getting into his cavalry here, he's got some of the Lance Spetsan, Spetsate, and a couple of the other Lancer units here, medium melee cavalry, and he's bringing a unit of hand gunners. That should be pretty interesting, and I ho I'm really hoping they get some good kills. Hand gunners can be very deadly, or they can die pretty easily. So let's get this battle going on here. Do hear some more of the infantry moving around. Two units of the Pavi Spearmen here for the Kingdom of Hungary starting to move over in front of the general there. Let's fast forward. Nope. Lithuania is now moving forward, actually advancing very quickly. He's got all of his units running. His cavalry looks like they're going to be running off onto the flank over here. But yeah, just by going by the Lithuanian size of the Lithuanian army and then the size of this army here, the Croatian army, this does not look like it's going to go very well. Uh, in my opinion, at all, I don't. Th I think I'm pretty sure this infantry over here is going to get surrounded. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Technically, eight, nine units of infantry. Only one, two, three, four, five, six units of infantry on this side. So I'm guessing Croatia spent a lot of his money on his cavalry, or maybe these are just really good infantry units, or the best that they can bring. A couple. He's got uh, the the spears are all high. And his two units of swords are spear or uh, late infantry. There do have the archers firing though. Units of archers firing on the incoming ducal infantry. Let's see what's going on with Serbia and Hungary. Serbia is moving up his front line, but yeah, it definitely looks like uh, Hungary is just going to come crashing in. And speaking of crashing in, let's get a little bit of a slow motion here. A little bit of a tip for people who play 1212: these units come with shield wall, and their shield wall is actually very important to do. Because if you don't, I'm just going to put it back on to regular speed. Here comes the king here for the Kingdom of Hungary. He's going to come in and just crash. Oh, that unit almost getting into spear wall. Almost getting into shield wall, I should say. But a huge crash. Took them 20 guys out in that one charge. Still dropping more. Jesus. Absolutely obliterated that unit. Already starting to waver. Do have the Lithuanian army still moving forward here. But they are probably going to crash soon. We do have a unit here of the Lithuanian Noble Cavalry going to charge in. Probably going to catch this same unit out again. They are not in shield wall, unfortunately. Not a really a very good charge. Maybe he wasn't really meaning to charge in on them. But, uh, yeah, that unit is still going to be routing. We do have Croatia over here trying to quickly use move one of his units of swordsmen out onto the flank. Probably going to try and catch this Ducal, but this Ducal infantry here. But lines are about to crash together here. All the way on down the line, we do have cavalry entanglements going on on the outsides here. We have the Smolensk Boyers Noble Cavalry going on against three units of the Croatian Cavalry and a unit of the Croatian Nobles are inside the combat as well. We have the Croatian General making his way over, maybe just trying to give some sort of uh, morale buff or whatever to his army, at least to his cavalry units, but the Javelins are doing fantastic kills. Two kills, three kills so far. This unit here with 21 kills already. Wow. Amazing. 
absolutely amazing. Grand Duke's bodyguard just kind of, I guess he's just kind of tempting the band to come around. Let's swing back over onto the other side, see how we're doing over here. Bunch of cavalry moving up here actually for Serbia. All of their infantry lines have now collided along the line here. Oh no, actually I missed this. What is this? This is the Hungarian king inside the archers of... Oh, that is so bad to see. Let's get back over here. Oh. Oh no. They got a good shot off killing some of them, but they're gonna get run over. Oh, unit of gunners just got decimated down to 107 left. Here comes a second unit of the Cervantes coming in now. They're going to get a huge charge in as well. Just crushing them. We do have a unit finally of the Landspitz uh, Spezat coming in. Trying to get some kills. Trying to at least combat the Cervantes here. Two units of the Spezat have come in. Let's get back over here see how this engagement is going in the center here. Yeah, one unit of the archers is getting really beat up down to 95 out of 160. The other unit here, 124 out of 160. Where is there a unit fleeing already? The handgunners are now gone and another huge charge coming in by the Cervantes onto the Axemen here. This unit here did, I guess they did, they did get a unit around the back here, but Huge rear charge again. Cavalry is just so devastating in 12-12. So devastating. We have the unit of the Noble Cavalry. What are they doing? Oh, they're going to come in for a charge. We do have general combat going on over on this side. Grand Duke's bodyguard not looking very good. But the Band of Croatia has now been surrounded. Three units of cavalry in on the battle for the Duchy of Lithu Lithuania. Oh, what is that? The Hungarian king is sh is breaking. He looks like he's coming back, though, so maybe he'll actually be able to stay in the combat, stay in the battle. Hopefully, he's going to be able to pull them back around behind his actual forces here. Cervantes is just doing fantastic. 106 kills for them. Yeah, cavalry is just so devastating in this game, in this mod. So devastating. Looks like the archers here are getting ready. Yeah, that broke. They both broke. Hungarian king is, in fact, trying to pull back behind his own lines there. That should be good. Let's get into some of the uh, infantry battle here. Ducal swords just plowing into these spearmen. Ducal swords have only lost three men so far. The spears have lost 35 men so far. We do have another unit here of the spearmen. Javi Spearman here getting ready, starting to waver at 140 men. These ducal, these ducal swords are just, must be no joke, or it's just because swords are playing against, or fighting against she, she, uh, <laughs> swords are fighting against spears. I almost said swords are fighting against shields. That wouldn't have made any sense. Oh wait, we do have a couple of units over here for Lithuania that are starting to break. Some of the ducal spearmen, you know, the skirmishers were starting to waver. So that is a good sign, but oh no, archers left alone again. Massive charge coming in by a depleted unit of noble cavalry in onto some of these archers here. Skirmishers are already in combat here, cutting into these archers who are facing the wrong way. Not a good sign there. These archers are getting ready to break. There goes one. The other one has kind of held himself for the moment. Let's get back over here to the general combat. Grand Duke's bodyguard, and he does have a unit of the Smolensk boyars with him. Banner Croatia is starting to really lose, though. Down to 21 men left. That is not good. Let's see where the running, men are running now. And another unit of infantry looks like the Axemen here have broken. <coughs> Sorry about the cough, guys. Still getting over being sick here a little bit. Ally has fled. So... It seems... Well, hold on a second. Serbia still has units on the field. What unit of his fled? I guess it's just because of these units here fleeing in the center. It's confusing. Oh, no! General is dead! That is... That's rough. Ban has fallen. 
he has died on the battlefield today. So I'm guessing, yeah, his men are going to start really not... Generals died recently. They are going to start losing their morale very quickly. 2 minutes 25 seconds left in this battle. Another big charge coming in. Some more of the Smolensk boyars coming for a charge in onto these communal nobles. Heavy shock infantry axemen there. Just getting hammered. Uh, there goes another unit breaking. So there we go. Croatia has been eliminated. And it does not look... It, does not, it doesn't seem that Serbia is far behind. A lot of his units here in the center starting to waver. His general is still on the battlefield though. Actually, he just broke a unit of the halberdiers here. So that is good. But the... Uh, yeah, balance of power. 433 men now against 3156. Not looking very good. There is a ton of cavalry still on this side for Hungary. They have a bunch of pretty full, if not full, maybe half full units. This is not looking good. Not looking good at all. Archer's still here. The Bow Frontiermen trying to do their best. Getting some shots off. Let's see exactly where they're firing into. Hopefully they continue firing. Looks like they're trying to hit some of the uh, Vlastella that's coming on their way over here, but I don't think this is going to work out. Vlastella making their way out. Looks like they're going to charge on over to these archers. King here for the Serbians not doing... Uh, well, he got a charge in, broke this unit. That's good. He's still trying to do as much damage as he can. This general has 167, 171 kills now, so he's doing pretty good. Still a unit of swords there. This unit of swords, unfortunately, are starting to waver, though. Let's get into the combat again. Nope, that unit just broke. And look at this. Look at the reinforcements coming on over here. Cavalry making their way in. Unit of the Smolensk Boyers again. 192 kills for this unit coming in. Crashing in onto the side of this general there. Wow. Wow. Look at the battlefield left over here. These two teams just absolutely destroyed in this battle. Wow. Close defeat, really? How is that a close defeat? Let's check some of the numbers here. We'll get into the uh, Grand Duchy of Serbia first. His general, 193 kills. Some of his spears doing all right. Uh, it's actually swords, 113 there. Uh, his cavalry, one of his uh, lancers here, 129. 76 for one of the lance spacettes. Yeah, 81 for spears, 75. His swords, unfortunately, really weren't able to produce this one unit here with 78 kills. Getting into the Kingdom of Croatia here. Actually, his uh, shock infantry did very well. 165, 189. His cavalry, pretty good. 122 with that unit. Unit of archers, actually, 123, 97. The rest of his army did not really perform very well. One unit of swords here with 69. Getting into Wislet here with Lithuania. Uh, his... One of his units of cavalry, actually, 124. This other unit here, noble, noble cavalry, 223 kills. Fantastic. Skirmishers here, 155. Swords here, 101. His general only 57 kills. So, pretty well done with all of his swords and everything. Let's get into the Kingdom of Hungary. 245 kills for his general. One of his Velastella here with 236. The other one with 100. The Servientes here with 164. His sword's doing fantastic. 198, 144, 102, 103. Really well done. Actually, his spears, one unit here with 112. One with 150 kills. Wow. And they're really not even that damaged. Ooh, wow. Okay, guys. Well, that is going to be the end of battles for these two teams. So I will check in with you guys when I get the next set. Have a good day.